Lord a wonderful time. We give glory. Glory to the newborn king. Next, we will have prayer by Miss Lakeisha Smith. Miss Smith, are you here? Come on, sister. And following the prayer, we will have the welcome and the occasion by Miss Shannon Gaddis, Tiger Singer, Singers Booster Club Vice President. in everything give thanks Amen. and even though we know this is our Christmas concert we came to give God glory is Come that on. right Talk about it. so I just need y'all to get out of yourselves for a little while and let's boost these young people on because it takes a lot to be a part of this ensemble anybody that has ever participated in anything not just the school choir anything it takes effort have to constantly work at it. So y'all just shake it off, pack it under your feet, and let's give God glory. Is that all right? Is that all right? Glory be to God. Oh Lord, we give you praise and oh Lord,
replenish them, rejuvenate them, rejuvenate them in the mighty name of Jesus. It is so and so it is. Amen. Again, good evening. I apologize. Good evening. Praise the Lord again, everybody. To Pastor Jordan in his absence, we would like to welcome you this evening to the Jim Hill High School Choir Annual Winter Concert. Come on, you can give it up for them. You can give it up for them. They've worked so hard. Yes. Today you will hear songs of the season. They want to invite you to do as it states in Psalms 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him in his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Praise him with the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and the lyre. Praise him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise him with string instruments and flute. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with loud cymbals. It says, let everything that has breath. It says, everything that has breath. It says everything that has breath. Every breath of life. If you breathe and say amen. It said let everything that has breath. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Come on, stand up on your feet one more time. And give God a hallelujah praise. He's worthy today. He's worthy today. See, I've been in that choir rehearsal. And see, they ain't just a concert choir. See, they get down and they shout. They don't mind shouting and giving God praise. See, they're not going to let nobody, the rocks, cry out for them. They're going to let everything that's within them, in their belly, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you and we welcome you in Jesus' name. Did you hear what she said? She said, let everything. Huh? I can't hear. She said, let everything that have breath. If you're breathing, you ought to praise the Lord. I 
I know Ms. Moody is ready, but she, whoo. <laughs> introduce to others the magnificent they may be imitated but never duplicated the Jim Hill High School Choir under the direction of none other none other than the songbird herself. <laughs> Miss Pamela Moody. Let's give it up for her and the Yeah. 
to the spirit. Who's in my heart? I'm gonna sing to the spirit. Who's in my heart? I'm gonna sing to the spirit. Who's in my heart? I'm gonna sing till Jesus calls. I'm gonna sing to my Jesus. Who's in my Jesus?
the second will be The Blood Still Works.
Missionary Baptist Church. Come on. And then we will have our wonderful Jim Hill Choir, along with a combined mass choir of Visible, Newton High, and Jim Hill. Uh, okay, she said they has one, one more.
And while he's coming, I'm just going to go through the remainder uh, of the program. Uh, we will have uh, other selections by the Jim Hill Choir, and I just want to take this time to thank Miss Moody and the Jim Hill High School Choir for allowing me to guide you through this church service this afternoon. Um, it has been a blessing, and I really, when I say I have really enjoyed myself, <laughs> I have really enjoyed myself. I got to do this. Miss Moody told me Friday when I got the program to bring my shouting shoes. And I did, and I left them in the car, but that's all right. I put my flats in the car and forgot to bring them in the church, but I didn't need them. Because the Holy Ghost had me. And the Spirit kept me. And I want to tell you, I, I, as old people you say, I like that kind of carrying on when it comes to church. I, I like that kind of carrying on. But I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And to wish you, as I go to my seat, I wish for each and every one of you the love, the peace, and the joys of this Christmas season. And let us all remember the reason for the season, and that is Jesus Christ. Thank you, and may God bless, keep, and smile upon each and every one of you. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together. Look, it sounds like only two or three in here, but when I look out, I see so many. Come on, you can do better than that. If the Lord has been good to you, amen. If the Lord has blessed you thus far while you're here, come on, you ought to put your hands together. Uh, I said this morning in church, you ought to open your mouth and say something. Yeah, don't, look, don't get me started in here. Hey man, look, 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 I, I won't be before you long. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know about some of those, uh, some of those remarks there that said this was the moment that we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Glory to his name. Uh, because I came, I came, I came, yeah, amen. I came to be blessed and to be ministered to, amen. Come on, while we're there, before I get to these words, come on, let's give a big shout out to Isabel. Amen. Come on, how about, how about Northwest, uh, Northwest IB? Amen. Come on, all the way from the big city of Newton, Mrs. Come on, talk to me. Come on, give a big shout out. Amen. And then, come on, come on. Big shout out for Jim Hill. Amen. Amen and glory to his name. Look, I, I, won't, I, I promise I won't be before you long, uh, but I wrestled with uh, how and what should I say as a means of inspiration. It's a... Uh, it's something unique that happens every time we host uh, Jim Hill and community. That I, I gain a source of inspiration that's indescribable. Uh, come on, all my older people. Uh, look, we, we, ought to, we ought to just be inspired that God would allow us to witness generations of young folk. In fact, the next generation and the future that's on the way. In fact, let me change that. The future is already here. Amen. Uh, for they have indeed, they have indeed blessed us. You can clap right there. Amen. I ain't gonna be, I promise you, I won't be long. 
I, I, wrote, I wrote a few uh, scattery remarks uh, to, 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 to try and inspire, but not just inspire, to encourage and also challenge this, this generation before us. Uh, brothers and sisters, young men and young women, we are in this Christmas season, the, the Christian church calls it Advent. Advent is the time and place where we observe the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, the fact that he came and died for our sins. He, in other words, he was born so that he could die to save us from our sins. That, that's the, uh, the Advent season. My, my, my argument uh, throughout these last few days is simply uh, this, that it is good for us to appreciate his birth and thank God for his birth, but we, we must not miss the why he was born. The, yeah, the, it, it's all in the why. John chapter 10 and verse 10 says uh, that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have what? Life? I wish I had a... Uh, uh, and not just life, but are y'all going to help me? Look, a life more abundantly. And, and, and I want to, by way of a few minutes of inspiration, uh, encouragement and challenge and charge, I, I want to I focus in on the why. In other words, my brothers and sisters, Jesus came on purpose. He lived on purpose. He died on purpose so that you and I could have life and live also on purpose. May I, may I say to our young people here today, look, don't you be discouraged or be dismayed. Don't you get all hot and bothered, upset, angry, and mad at folk who don't want to invest in you and who don't want to recognize and realize that you have purpose. May I, may I say to you, and, and I, I need you to repeat after me. Look, I am somebody. Come on, say it like you mean it. I am somebody. Yes, you are. You are somebody because God made you. He, he uniquely fashioned you. He uniquely gifted you. He, look, he has purpose for you. H how do I know? I, I, I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. That. Look, I, I found scripture here in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 5. Here's what it says. Uh, it says, now it is God who has made us for this very purpose and has given us the spirit as a deposit, as a guarantee, and he's guaranteeing what is to come of your life. My, my brothers and sisters, here's the problem. Here's the problem, and here's where I challenge you and charge you. We move from inspiration just to challenge you uh, because the, the problem becomes uh, our, our purpose and our potential has somehow managed not to manifest to its fullest potential. In other words, uh, Miles Monroe says it this way. He says, he says uh, the cemetery is the richest place on earth. I wish I had. Okay, let me move on. Look, here it is. Here it is. Uh, the cemetery is the richest place on earth. And somebody's asking the question, why? I'll tell you why. Because so many uh, dreams, so many lives, so much potential, so, much, uh, so many goals and so many plans have died in the cemetery without ever being manifested in your life. In your life. 
in your life. And let's I, let's I encourage and inspire uh, these young people. Let me, let me just talk about us old folks. Some of us are dying on the vine. I ain't come to make friends. I, I had to sneak that in. Yeah, some of us are dying on the vine. Here, here's the charge and challenge. Look, don't die on the vine. You, you know what that means? As long as you hooked up to Jesus, you ought to be producing purpose that he has already ordained in your life. <laughs> hey Amen. Look, the wind, the wind is blowing my paper. That means I need to sit down. Here, here's, here's, here's what I want you to know. If you don't get anything else from, from this session today, is you have purpose. You are somebody. You, you, you have purpose. You, you are somebody. You have purpose. You are somebody. No, Northwest, where are you? You, you? you have purpose. You are somebody. Don't travel through this life without fulfilling your God-ordained purpose. Your gifts, your talents, uh, these uh, parents and uh, school administrators have and are still investing in you so that you can fulfill your purpose. Your gifts, your talents, and everything that you have will be the very vehicle that God will use to take you to the place that he wants you to go. The question becomes today, will you commit? Will you make the determined nation today to live your life on purpose according to what God has ordained, not what the world wants you to become?
How many of you know that Jesus will? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together. Help us praise the Lord.
you, everybody. Praise God, everybody. Praise God, everybody. Oh, what a blessing. What a blessing, what a blessing. I just want to take a brief moment with all my parents that are in this room right now. Please stand to your feet. All my choir parents, you know who you are. I just want to say I thank you. Because not only are these children giving up their time after school, but you gave up your time after you got off work. You made the sacrifice to make sure that you got your children there on those performances when we didn't have a bus. So I want to let you know that I appreciate you more than you will realize. Because you all are a blessing to me. You're a blessing to these children. And I just appreciate you. Um, are there, I see one of my administrators here, Mr. Armstrong. Are there any other administrators of Jim Hill here at this time? Okay, all right, I see Mr. Davidson, our Marion counselor back there in the back. Um, will any of the Jim Hill High School teachers that are here please stand? Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Yes. We thank you for your support, for supporting these kids. I want to thank the members of College Hill Baptist Church and Pastor Jordan, his beautiful wife, for opening their doors to us each and every year that we've been here. I want to thank those of you who came out from near and far. Thank you for showing up for these children and supporting them. To Isabel Elementary, these beautiful babies over here, and Mrs. Watkins. Oh, what a blessing. I want them to keep on singing and make your way to Jim Hill, okay? All right? <laughs> and to Newton High School, the Dynamic Voices. I want you to know you all, I don't know if you remember, but Ms. Patrick was my student teacher last year. And we went to their fall concert a couple of weeks ago, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna make sure you all get to sing on our spring concert, but then things just tend to happen and change for the better. Well, new, y'all can have her, but we gonna borrow her just a little bit, is that okay? Just a little bit. We're gonna let y'all have it though. But, they came, we came and we fellowship with them, and what a joyous time we had with them. And just want you all to know that we love you. We see your growth. Woo, woo, y'all did your thing today. I'm so proud of y'all. And, who am I missing? Oh, and Northwest IB Middle School. They're drunk. Mrs. Brown, who is over them. We thank you all as well. I'm pretty sure Mr. Little is gonna look forward to having you all in the March band. But if you can sing a little bit, you can come on and join me too. All right? We got some band babies up here. All right? Now, to all of my music educators who are in the building, could you please stand? And my future music educators, I see you over there, Devontae. All right, baby, I see you all. Yes. excited to have you all here this evening. Um, I have to let you all know that I am taking this group of students this year to the Bahamas. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. I got a, a couple of folks who up in here, some of my parents who've been me and four, they told me I can volunteer them. Yep. They said volunteer, so I just said, you going on the trip, you going on the trip. And Chef Ron last year, and they just told me I can volunteer them to go wherever I want them to go, and they just gonna be there. So we have probably more parents outnumbering the, the, the children this year, but that's okay. We gonna go and compete in the Bahamas, and we're going to compete in the Bahamas. Now last year we went to Orlando, Florida, went there. The only African American choir to show up. And they competed and they won the entire competition. So, we're gonna to try to take their efforts a little bit further. We're gonna do a little international trip our way. And for those of you who wish to sow a seed into these children to help them get there, please see me right after. All right. Um, or you can see our booster president in the back. She's back there waving her hands, Miss Madison. Oh, 
Y'all, okay, so there's a person here. I've been teaching at Jim, Jim Hill, what, eight years now? And there's a person here who has made her first time to see her baby in a concert. And that's my mama. Her do a concert. Oh. When she was at Sideways. Sideway. Yes. But she got to be like, Mama done got old. I can't turn up this highway. But I just <laughs> want to say, I am so proud of my daughter. Yeah. We, come from a, we come from a singing group. Yes, a a family singers. group. And I tell you what, when we get together, we have church anyway. We were raised up in the church. My grandmama always said, you go out and party all night. You can be in the church or something. And I'm one of them too. I raised her where she is today. And Amen. I am so proud. Yes. But I'm not going back home because it's too far to go back to law. <laughs> Before, Mr. Armstrong, did you want to say anything? Okay, we want to thank you for showing up. Um, but before we come, I want to invite you all to the fellowship hall, which is adjacent over here, to come and fellowship with us. We have light refreshments, um, and you can hug and get pictures and all this good stuff. So please don't leave, come and fellowship with us. So at this time, I'm going to ask Isabel Elementary and Newton High School to come to the stage with us for our last selection.
before you leave, before you leave, before you leave, let's uh, let's have our closing word of prayer. Uh, before before I give the closing word of prayer, my understanding is also a portion of Northwest is also Bailey APAC. Is that right? Amen. 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 One uh, one last thing. May I ask College Hill, College Hill members who are here, ra wave your hand. Amen. Thank you so much for coming to support. Jim Hill, Newton, Isabel, Northwest, Bailey, look, we're here for you. Here to support you in all of your endeavors. Now shall we pray. Father God, we thank you for this day and the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. Thank you for the gift that you have entrusted into the care of these, your children. Lord, will you continue to nurture in them that your power would manifest in their lives. Oh God, we pray your arms of protection around the anointing that is on their life. Oh, dear master, will you bind the tricks of the devil so that they, he will not steal the joy that lives within them. Give us traveling grace as we prepare to leave from this place, but never from your presence. It's in Jesus' name we pray, and in faith we ask, amen, amen, and amen. <laughs>